Okay, guys. Hello to my second video. Um, before I get into question number two, which is basically a repeat uh, on every single test, just like question number one is, which is basis. Question number two is about evaluating, except evaluating is kind of different because normally in algebra we evaluate just like the way we evaluate, but with computer science or Java, we evaluate things a little bit different. But that's for another video. Uh, but b before we can evaluate, we need to discuss the primitive, the Java primitive data types. So the first uh, primitive data type is the byte, uh, which is an 8-bit signed two's complement integer. Um, and the the range for a byte goes from negative 2 to the seventh power all the way to 2 to the seventh power minus 1. Uh, I'll explain why it's a 7 in a bit even though it's 8 bits and there's a 7 in, as a power. Um, the next uh, and it, the, negative to the seventh power is negative 128 and to the seventh power minus 1 is 127. Uh, the next Java primitive data type is a short, which is also, um, it's actually a 16-bit, 16, 16, I'm sorry, this marker is kind of fat, it's kind of thick, 16-bit sine 2's complement integer. Uh, the range for short is negative 2 to the 15, notice how it's always 1 minus 16, right? or 1 minus whatever bit it is, 15 in this case, negative 2 to the 15, all the way to 2 to the 15th, minus 1. This is actually negative 30, 2, 7, 6, 8, 2, 3, 2, 7, 6, 7. You don't have to memorize this, but there, are, there was a question that actually tested uh, a knowledge in a previous computer science test where I actually had to knew, know the range of a short, but normally you don't get um, asked this. Uh, the next data type, which is commonly used and like everything for integers at least, is you guessed it, the int. It is a 32 bit to its complement integer, which is from, you guessed it again, negative 2 to the 31st to 2 to the 31st minus 1. Now I'm not going to actually evaluate it because it's too huge of a number to evaluate. Um, the next number or the next uh, data type is a long, which is 64 bit to its complement uh, integer and it goes from negative 2 to the 63rd power to 2 to the 63rd power minus 1. And these are all the integer uh, data types. Now, you there's like a, um, how to say, um, a disclaimer. Um, you can't, notice how there's a range in these data types. So if I said like, I don't know, int, int i, you can't have int i at, or you can't have i, which is your variable, like the variable you can have the value stored as, as, I don't know, 9999999999999. You can't because there's a range for an int. If you actually want a really huge number, you would want to go for a long. But then again, long also has a range too. So you can't really store really, 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 really huge numbers. They have, those numbers have to be within the range of that data type. Um, so these are all the um, data types, again, for an integer. And it's really important that you actually memorize the uh, size of the byte and what the size of the byte is is this the byte the size of a byte is 8 uh, the size of a short is 16 the size of an int is 32 the size of a long is 64 you have to memorize this because on the test sometimes there are questions where it tells you what, are the, what is the order of precedence of these data types and you need to know how many how many bits each uh, data type stores so you can get the answer right. It's a really easy Papita question. Um, 
the next uh, data types which are floating point data types let me uh, get another whiteboard here is going to be a float and a double uh, let me zoom in there we go so a float is a 32-bit signed floating point number this is a really fancy way of saying it can store decimals so you can actually store like 17.32 or negative 5.4 you can store decimals that's a neat thing with the, with the previous data types that I showed you right now a while ago you can only store uh, integer values these you can actually store decimals um, and then you have the next one which is a double and a double is a 64 bit signed uh, floating point um, the next uh, Java primitive data type is a uh, char uh, char is a data type which you can use to store your characters uh, the range for uh, char is 0 to 6 5 5 3 5 and yes you do have to memorize this this is very important uh, char the size for a char is a 16 bit uh, Unicode character so the size is 16 um, so you can actually store things like uh, the lowercase a or capital C or an underscore or I don't know a dollar sign it, it doesn't matter um, these this is what a char can um, hold the range at least and last but not least the last Java primitive data type is going to be boolean and if you don't know boolean, boolean is your logic and logic is true or false so the values for boolean is going to be true false um, and that's it now there is one more uh, data type it's not a java primitive data type but it's used so common that we think of it as a primitive data type and that's a string and if what a string does is it stores things in quotes so if you want to store hello world you will use a string I don't know string str so now hello world is uh, a string it's kind of like a I guess you can say like hello world dot a sentence is going to be held in this variable that's called str and that's going to be held in these quotes now if you want to print str this is not how you actually print things in java uh there's actually another way of doing it but for simplicity's sake i'm just going to write print if you want to print str it's actually going to print um hello world without the quotes remember this is what's being stored in the quotes these quotes just signify that it's going to be a string um, and that is uh, actually basically it now I'm going to get more into the detail in the integer data types and uh, how the computer actually uses uh, how it interprets these numbers using binary ones and zeros um, I should have actually gotten uh, napkin or something and I need to erase um, all this I could just get a piece of paper yeah uh, whatever anyways so going back to uh, a byte remember we had said that a byte is eight bits so let's write I don't know eight uh, lines one two three four five six seven eight 
This first uh, number is a 1. This is 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and negative 128. Uh, why is it negative? Actually, and, and, and this is the reason why it's from negative 2 to the 7th to 2 to the 7th minus 1. This bit right here stores a 1 if the number is negative and a 0 if number is positive. What do I mean by that? Well, if you add all these numbers up right here, what do you get? You get 127. So as long as there's a one here, and there and these are all filled with ones, negative one twenty eight plus one twenty seven is going to be uh, negative one. So you know that as long as there's a one here, your whole answer is going to be negative. And if there's a zero there, your whole answer is going to be positive. That's why this bit is reserved for uh, either a one or a zero, and that's why you have the seven there. Um, now, one thing before this video ends is um, some, th there may be a little bit of questions in uh, the UAL computer science, which actually deals with, it's just, it, they're really easy. Uh, and I actually answered one question when I was going over the size of these data types. There's a question where it says, basically, I'm sorry about this, I should have gone a, a napkin. Um, data type dot size uh, and this data type is it this is actually just uh, I guess you can see a filler this could be a byte it could be a short it could be a long it could be a double it could be an int it could be anything right that's why I'm putting data type for simplicity's sake again and what does that dot size mean it just means how many bits does it store so if it said what is int uh, and I believe that's how you do it. In dot size, what's going to be your answer? It's going to be thirty-two, because the size thirty uh, int has thirty-two bits. If it was short dot size, it would be sixteen. If it was double dot size, it would be sixty-four, and so forth and so forth. So that's one question you may get on the computer science test that it's going to be an easy six points. Another question that may be easy is data type. dot max value or data type dot min value now normally um, it won't be something crazy like long or an int it'll most of the time stick to either a byte or um, a short or possibly a char I'm not too sure but uh, what it means by max value is what's the highest possible number that can be stored in that uh, data type. So for example, if it was byte dot max value, your answer would be 127. Why? Because the max number you can get in a byte is 127. Remember, it's 2 to the 7th power minus 1, which is 127. Um, if we had said byte dot min value, your answer would have been negative 128 because that's the lowest number you can store in a byte, negative 2 to the 7th power. So this, it helps a lot if you know the range of the uh, data type and you don't have to memorize the actual number, like you don't have to memorize negative 128 and 127. It's honestly better to memorize that byte, you know, it has 8 bits. So the range is negative 2 to the 7th to 2 to the 7th minus 1. So let's say you forgot what the, yeah, let's say you don't know the, the, the numbers, the max and the min value for an int, right? Well, you know that an int has 32 bits. So the lowest possible number is negative 2 to the 31st, and the highest possible number is 2 to the 31st minus 1. And just knowing this, you can determine what the min value is and the max value. And yes, there has been a question where it said, what is int dot max value? 
um, and it sucks because you actually have to figure out what this is. Um, but yeah, that's basically pretty much it for Java primitive data types. Uh, knowing this knowledge, you can actually figure out um, how to, well, this is just like, I guess, part of the fundamentals, especially knowing how to read and write code. Um, and I guess from at this point, I'm just rambling on, but I do have an announcement to make. We are at one subscriber. Yes, woohoo. One subscriber, and guess what? I'm gonna do a face review because I thought it'd be a good joke to do a face review of one subscriber. So here it is. This is me, hello. Uh, yeah, that, that's it. Thanks for subscribing, watch my videos, and for sure, you're gonna see results in your UL computer science. Sure, I might not, I may not be the best teacher, but then again, I, I don't know. <laughs> just, just watch my videos and learn. I'll, I'll make this a fun learning experience, and I'm just doing all the hard work so that you can just watch my videos and learn. You don't have to do any research at all because I'm doing the research for you. Just watch my videos. And you will see a lot of improvements in your score. Um, peace. Bye.